Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we are having one very interesting and challenging question from algebra. 10 power 5 minus 6 power 5 minus 4 power 5 over 600 times 30 square plus 20 square plus 600 equal to 5 power a minus 5 plus 5 power b minus 5. We have to find out natural numbers a and b. So let's get started by considering our equation as I can write 10 power 5 minus 6 power 5 minus 4 power 5 divided by 600 times 30 square plus 20 square plus 600 equal to now I will write one exponent property a power b minus c. Anytime we can write a power b divided by a power c, which we will use in our RHS. So I can write here 5 power a divided by 5 power 5 plus 5 power b divided by 5 power 5. Now I will multiply both sides by 5 power 5. So I will write here 5 power 5 and this side also I need to write 5 power 5. Now I can cancel 5 power 5 with our denominator 5 power 5. Now left hand side I will multiply. So I will be writing 5 power 5 times 10 power 5 minus 5 power 5 times 6 power 5 minus 5 power 5 times 4 power 5 and then we have denominator 600 times 30 square plus 20 square plus 600 and RHS will write 5 power A plus 5 power B. Now I can use exponent property. I will be writing 5 times 10 whole power 5 minus 5 times 6 whole power 5 minus 5 times 4 whole power 5. Denominator is 600 times 30 square plus 20 square plus 600. And RHS I will write 5 power A plus 5 power B. Here I have used property A power C times B power C. Any time I can write AB whole power C. Now 5 times 10 is 50. Minus 5 times 6 30 minus 5 times 4 20 and then our denominator let me write d equal to 5 power a plus 5 power b so finally we have 50 power 5 minus 30 power 5 minus 20 power 5 over 600 times 30 square plus 20 square plus 600. RHS is 5 power A plus 5 power B. Now I will use substitution. So 30 plus 20 is 50. So let us consider 30 equal to X and 20 equal to y. So from here I can write 30 plus 20. 50 will be equal to x plus y. And 30 times 20. It would be 600. This will be equal to x times y. Let us apply to our problem. So 50, I will write x plus y whole power 5 minus 
30 x power 5 minus 20 I will write y power 5 over 600 so xy in bracket x square plus y square plus xy and RHS it is 5 power a plus 5 power b. Now I will write here this is our numerator. I will calculate separately and then I will write denominator division. So let us calculate numerator first. I will write here numerator equal to x plus y whole power 5 minus x power 5 minus y power 5. Now I will write one binomial expansion x plus y whole power 5 formula. So for that purpose I need to know the coefficients. So let me write for power 5 what would be our multipliers. So 1 3 3 1 for power 3 1 4 6 4 1 for power 4 and 1 5 10 10 5 1 for our required expansion. So I will be writing expansion as x power 5 plus y power 5. Coefficient 1 is over plus 5 times I will write x power 4 y plus x y power 4. Coefficient 5 is also over. Now 10 is left. In bracket I will write x cube y square plus x square y cube. Now I will write x power 5 plus y power 5 and then x y is common. So I will write in the bracket x cube plus y cube. Then we have x square y square common. So x square y square in bracket x plus y. Now I can apply a q plus b q formula also. So let us apply and take x power 5 minus y power 5 to the LHS. So I will be writing here x plus y whole power 5 minus x power 5 plus y power 5 which will be our numerator basically. So I will write n it would be equal to 5xy. Now x cube plus y cube formula. So x plus y in second bracket x square plus y square minus xy and then we have last term 10 times x square y square x plus y. Now I will write n numerator will be equal to. What is common here? It is 5 common, x common, y common, x plus y common. So what we will get after that? I will be writing here x square plus y square minus xy plus 2xy. Now I can write numerator n equal to 5xy x plus y. In second bracket x square plus y square plus xy. This is our numerator. Let me write here. So numerator equal to 5xy x plus y and x square plus y square plus xy. So let us write n over d equal to 5xy x plus y times x square plus y square plus xy and our denominator was xy in bracket 
x square plus y square plus x y and right hand side was 5 power a plus 5 power b. Now I can cancel these two brackets directly x y x y. So what is left in the LHS? It is 5 times x plus y equal to 5 power a plus 5 power b or I can write 5 times x was 30 y was 20 this is equal to 5 power a plus 5 power b so this is 5 times 50 equal to 5 power a plus 5 power b or I can write 5 power a plus 5 power b equal to 250 plus 5 power b equal to 250. Now we have to write natural numbers a and b. So let us factorize 250. I can write 5 times 5 times 10. So it would be equal to 5 square and 10 we can write 5 square and 10 can be written as 5 plus 5. So I can multiply I will be writing 5 square times 5 plus 5 square times 5. Using exponent property I can write 5 cube plus 5 cube. If I will compare with LHS I will easily write my answer for AB natural numbers it would be 3 comma 3. Both values will be equal to each other and it would be 3. And this brings the end of the video. Do not forget friends to like share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself. Bye bye.